Hello, and welcome back to Seventh Crown Tarot. If you're new here, thank you for joining me. If you're a, if you're a subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you for being here. So let's see what the cards have in store for all of us here. This is a collective reading, by the way, so not everything is going to resonate. Take what resonates and leave the rest, because there are a lot of you viewing this reading here. If you're looking for something a little more personalized, I also have personalized reason readings below. So you got five of wands. But let's see what the context around that is. You're having a lot of fun here. It seems like you've entered into a space where you're experiencing a lot of joy, a lot of passion, and a lot of balance, honestly. This looks pretty good. Any other messages for my collective here? What is it that they need to know? Something coming in fast for you. Ooh, something that you've wanted since you were a little kid. This is a thing now that... So, just one moment. Um, the airplane's being a bit loud, so let me draw you a few more cards while that's going overhead. something that you've wanted since you were a little kid and you've been diligently working on it for a really long time. You could be now being seen as like an expert at it and I'm seeing 222 on the clock as I say that. Like a master manifester at whatever it is that you want to create here. So it's like Whatever you have your eye on, you can achieve that. It's like there's no delay in between. And I don't know what that sound was. It sounded almost like a dragonfly. But it could have been something else. Anyway. <laughs> All sorts of little noises around here. But there's some sort of antsiness. Like, I'm feeling like like some sort of worry about it. Worry that you might not be good enough or that you're not quite ready to put yourself out there. So we got few, uh, quite a few cards here. You're no longer accepting breadcrumbs. And you're not allowing people to block your blessings. And you're saying no to the kinds of relationships that drain you of this abundant energy that you currently possess. And because of this, it's leading to a lot of like, I don't know why I heard the word betrayal in my head, but you might have been betrayed in the past chapter or by people in the past in general. Um, and you're, as soon as you see that type of thing, you're now cutting it out. Like, you're allowing those types of relationships to crumble on their own foundation. And you're leaving those situations before that can happen. And that has a lot of people confused because they're not used to that sort of treatment. They're not used to people being guided by their divine light, but you are. You're guided by divine inspiration to take action. That's you. You can spot a fake from 
a million miles away. You know what's real, what's genuine, and what doesn't belong to you. And because of this, this next chapter of your life is going to be unexpectedly abundant. And there's something here that you have to, something here that you have to do. What is it that my collective has to do to get this abundance? What is it that they're missing? Because you've got the four of wands in reverse. So I'm getting that there's something here that you haven't done. Ooh, okay, so there's also grapes on these Four of Wands. They're saying, keep going. But it's going to take a little bit more research in order to fully step into whatever it is that you want to step into, which is why you're feeling that hesitation. And also, part of it could be that you're still kind of close to this person, that, or people, or maybe you still have a little, like a chapter to finish off that's causing a little bit of um, anxiety within you because, like, you want to start taking action towards this offer here that you have this new beginning but you can't quite and it looks super promising to you because it is you're right you're very right you have clear vision now it's like you've got 2020 vision in terms of like um spiritual vision and you're very tapped into your higher self You want to stop moving slow towards whatever it is that you in the past were slow about it because you weren't certain, but now you're certain about what it is that you want to pursue. And I'm also getting that you've been getting very heavy signs that this is the thing that you should be investing in. So because of that, like it's causing a lot of anxiety. So is there any, any advice that you could give my collective about this anxiety that they're feeling? What could they, what could they do to ease this anxiety? Woo! Got a few cards. Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> they just said stop worrying about it. But that's not really... Okay, so this is a redirection of focus. This is focusing on the thing that you want to create in the present moment as it is. So maybe there's certain things that you can do and certain things that you have to wait to be able to do. So focus on the plateau that you're at because I really do get that it feels like a plateau and don't take it for granted because in the future you're going to be kind of looking back and reminiscing on this chapter that you're at because of the lack of momentum, ironically enough. Any other advice? Yeah, you've gotten three of the four aces. So this is a really abundant, promising new beginning for you. And the only one that's missing is the Ace of Swords. Yeah, stop focusing on the things that aren't working and invest in the things that make you happy. So focus on like the feeling of what you want to create rather than how it looks on the outside. Maybe this means kind of um, focusing on a smaller scale of whatever it is that you want to be doing or things that that bring you a lot of joy in regards to this passion of yours 
Um, because you're robbing yourself of your own happiness when you look too far into the future or when you look at the past or when you look at your present as your past. That also robs you of your present because It's like taking away from your future bank. You're being asked to slowly invest. Although you have this like really fiery energy right now, you could be a fire sign. Um, you're being asked to like temper that right now. Temper that with the appropriate types of thoughts and emotions and realize that there is an easy way. Oh, okay, this, this is a very deep message here. So realize that there's actually an easier way to achieve whatever it is that you're wanting to achieve with that massive amount of energy that you can't use right now. You're being blocked from using that massive amount of energy because you're not supposed to use that much energy to create whatever it is that you're trying to create. You're supposed to do it in subtle ways. Ways that add up. So there's something about like investment here. It's like small investments create large impact. like almost like um, an impending lack of stability that's weird I've never noticed the tear that she has under her eye I don't know if that's actually printed on or if you can you can't really see that but this queen of swords has a tear under her eye and it's under her right eye and if you know anything about Chinese um, base reading, the right eye is the one that has to do with like family. So someone's right eye, if it's like closed more than their left eye, like your left eye is your like business side or the side that you show to the outside world. And the right side is, I don't know if it's also to the outside world, but I'm guessing because I feel like that's also the side that is more genuine, people say. Anyway, your left, or this side of your face, your right side, is your, the face you show to your family. It has, I'm guessing it has something to do with the hemispheres of the brain. But anyway, weird tangent. Um, it's like... Feeling some sort of sadness over over something. What is this sadness over? I don't want to jump to assumptions. What is this sadness over? What's this sadness here? That things didn't turn out the way that you thought they would. actually um, read the book but she falls down like a hole and I'm guessing that's something to do with like the psyche right anyway I have to look into it but that could have some sort of relevance to you maybe you really like that the story or maybe that story has something <clears throat> to do with this message here We've got another seven above the seven. There's swords and cups. There has to be some sort of like in between. And actually, I do think we had the seven of pentacles here earlier. 
it was somewhere. Yes, we did. So we're missing wands. The seven of wands. And I'm trying to think what the seven of wands was. So look up 777. That could be a number for you. Yeah, you're not quite able to leave whatever it is that you're in right now for whatever reason. It's like there's some sort of like formality that has to go through here. Somebody's blessing? Something has to change. There's something that has to like change here first before you can set out into the world. But you are showing up as very confident. I mean, you'd have to be if you're doing as well as it seems like in this reading. In the beginning there, we got the message of you stepping into doing something that you've been doing for a long time. And when we do something for a long time, we start to feel more confident with it because we see the reward in what we're doing, right? We become more skilled, we can give advice to other people, and that all lends itself to giving us more confidence. Yes, but there's some sort of looming choice here that you have to make. What is this looming choice? What is this looming choice between? It's the other side of it. Okay, so I got the Ten of Cups in reverse, and then the Nine of Wands upright on the other side. It's a choice between... Feeling like you can't have anything, or someone coming in between whatever it is that you want, or... And like staying there or taking time to heal so this is like a time to pause right now and this could also be why you're not supposed to use as much energy to create whatever it is that you're creating because you won't be able to have that energy at all times. And this has to be something that's sustainable because it's supposed to be long term. So you need to realize that creating from this amount of energy is ideal right now and creating systems around that. Because if you're right now at your quote unquote worst or something is happening currently in your life, and you can still keep this thing afloat and flourishing, then that's perfect. That's what you want. That's how you want to structure whatever thing that it is that's going to keep you afloat in the future. So it has something to do with like designing a career, I'm getting. And not wasting your energy on the sadness of the past. And with this Nine of Wands, I'm also getting this thing that I was 
that I heard today about an older lady, not super old, but you know, she's wise. And she was talking, like her daughters asked her, how, how do you decide if a man is someone that you want to marry? And the mom replied, can you see this person taking you through the death of your father and the death of your mother? Or, you know, like some sort of like extreme situation where you really have nothing that you can give at that point or you're at your lowest. And if you can without a doubt answer that yes, that this will sustain me or this person will be there for me, then your answer is to go towards it. And I feel like it's a similar push here for you to find a career that you can do at all times, no matter what's going on in your life, that it will sustain you and it will feed you in your darkest of times. So that was a that was a pretty interesting message actually. Um, I'm gonna pull a little bit from this other deck here. Let's see any other messages here? Maybe I'll go like this. Any other messages here, Spirit? Copper. Copper. I'm being called to talk about copper. So, what is copper? Copper is a metal. It's a base metal. It's a metal that has some value, but if you're thinking about, like, jewelry, for instance, because um, I come from a jewelry making background, if you saw a piece of copper jewelry, you wouldn't really be like, wow, that's a value piece, valuable piece of jewelry, like, in some cultures maybe, but I, you wouldn't really find it in, like, let's say, peoples, right? Um, which is like a, I don't know if you have them where you are, but it's like a super run-of-the-mill, like, um, engagement ring store, uh, wedding ring store. I don't know if that's all they sell. They sell other stuff too, I'm sure, but it's not a valuable piece of metal. But my fascination with it is the fact that it's, it's antibacterial. And it conducts electricity like crazy. And we're electrical beings. So there's something to do with electricity here. There's some sort of inspiration that happens when you're in an abundant mindset. mindset. So when you start acting in line with some sort of like craft or career in the way where like it's constantly like giving to you more than you're giving to it almost then you start becoming electrified and you become more inspired at all times so it's tapping into that flow all the best creatives out there tap into that where they're constantly morphing and changing and this could be like a call towards like changing something or allowing yourself to fall into that state of like experimentation right now. Similar to how like in the, the very first card, one of the first cards actually, I don't know if it was the first one, was the one talking about childhood. I think it was the Five of Cups. Um, maybe it was the Four. Dwarf Cups? Anyway, um, but like tapping into like that, that stream of consciousness, that's really important with whatever it is that you're going to be doing here. Anything else? 
else? Test. Yes. Okay, so you're at this pause right now because it's a test. It's a test to see if you're going to take on, take the choice of hearing what you want to hear or seeing things from a different perspective of knowing that you need to change something. Are you going to take that call to change something in your life? To change the, the way that you do something, the amount of energy that you put into something and the expected, cha um, the expected output? Like, are you willing to change your mind about what can happen? Because it's all about perspective shift and perception, right? So whatever we believe is what our universe gives to us. We're just, we're mirroring. It's a dance. As within, so without. And we just keep adjusting. As within, so without. And then we change something, and then the outside changes. So, I think that's probably it for me right now. That's all I'm kind of tapping into right now. Um, so, if you like the way I read, Feel free to contact me for a reading, and don't forget to um, check out the previous reading. I'm doing a 3k subscriber giveaway. You don't have to be um, subscribed or anything, just leave a comment below the video and I'll enter you into the giveaway. And I'll tag the person in the next video as a winner. So, alright. Leave a comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Alright, bye!